a short video to show you how to create the report to send that to superintendents and then how to change a superintendent's um, or change which superintendent is affiliated with that school. So we'll start over here, go to the Envis site, log in. Under the Management tab, you go to Reports. This is where you go to create the report. Now I am going to show here a report for Boyd County. And you have to check each of these boxes each time. And you generate the report. It takes a little bit and it becomes a PDF. So you see here it's generating. It'll show me as a download here in a minute. Some days it's faster than others. All right, then I open that up and we see here Boyd County, the superintendent, all this information pulls. And these are the courses sent. So I wanna talk a little bit about this so it makes sense. They sent American History. Um, they had two students at Stewart and nine students at Boyd County. It was dual credit. It was for one term. So here, if we open that, we could see the full time and the term. So then they also sent American History One to Stewart to those two. They had a, 10 students in that one, dual credit. And this one must have been first semester and this one was second semester. They received Spanish one from ESU five. And so here term one would be the first semester. Um, term two would be second semester, depending on how the courses were put in. If they were put in as single semester courses, then it'll term one and term two. Um, sometimes they're put in as um, a full year long and then it'll show it's two terms, so it's a little confusing. But then um, I send it to the superintendent. He signs it and then returns it here to Christina or whoever is at NDE. That will be at the bottom of here. They just email it back to them. So now I want to show you how to change a superintendent um, for a school. So I am going to go here and first you would want to go to account management and if that superintendent is not in there you would add a new account um, we might just make one up we'll see here well i'm in there but we'll try making another one for me oops i'm going to put my new summerlin oops Oh. Try it again here. All right, I'm going to make up passwords. It's going to be Bobcats1. I don't remember if I uppercase that. confirm that all right I can put in all my grade levels and all of that but I'm going to do this save my changes all right so now I have to add my workplace so I need to go in here and add Summerland Um, let's, I know it's in here. All right, maybe I need to add that entity too. 
So we'll come back and do a video there. I will just pretend that this is a different school. I would click here and add it, put in a cell phone and add the entity. Then I also would have to come down here and add a title and it'll say principal, teacher, superintendent. Um, so I'd add superintendent because that's who verifies them. We'll be back with another video on how to add an entity.